And welcome back to the show. It's Our Town on Chicago's ProgressiveTalk.com. Uh, you can check us out there. And uh, make sure you like us on Facebook and on the new Twitter. Are you kidding me? That's right. M. Sanders Media and some kind of pound what? sign or something. You're on, you're on Twitter? Tic Tac Toe. I don't know what it is. It, whatever it is. I'm oh, on Twitter hashtag. somewhere. Hash, do you put the like hashtag that. first or last? Hashtag, I think hashtag it's before. First. Hashtag yeah. first, Brian? Yeah. yeah. Okay, hashtag so. First. I don't know. Oh, okay, well, revolution of beer time. Good morning, everybody. <laughs> morning. Hey, I, a couple quick things. You were, you were talking about the five biggest problems in the world. Uh -huh. So I wanted to add to that list if I could. Education, food, clean water, war, and people who throw 80s parties. When they're not born in the eighties, uh, that is a problem. Oh. With Another big, big problem. Nice. I think okay. we need to work okay. on. But I like That's the I like one. the effort though. Yes, I appreciate and the effort. falconry. You, oh, ooh, falconry. You. I did not know that about you. <laughs> That's for you. That's for you. <laughs> would, uh, and, and just because I know nothing about falconry, would you start out with parakeets and work your way up? To, I think that that say, would be like, the, love the birds smart thing. And then, yeah. Okay. But pigeons. Do you have pigeons before you get to falcons? You both will choose your words more carefully when I have falcons attacking you. You will. Yeah, or, <laughs> you will. <laughs> <laughs> Very quickly. Hey, a quick shout out to Tom Tresser from the TIFF Illumination, Illumination Project uh, and to Mr. Michael Roper, our friend and owner of Hopleaf uh, in Andersonville. Um, we've been talking fracking and beer and uh, tax mm. increment financing and blowing mm. the lid off of that with both of those gentlemen. Um, and then we, we will also be talking with uh, with Mike Roper from uh, from uh, Hopleaf a little bit later. Mm -hmm. um, a wonderful. brilliant guy who's got a lot to say. We had that conversation with uh, uh, Tom Tressler from Hinterland Brewing a couple weeks ago about the environment and water. Um, and, uh, and Mike Roper certainly has some things to say to that, to add to that. Uh, this Tuesday at 7.30 I'll be part uh, of the opening show of Democracy Burlesque's newest, and in my opinion, best uh, season. The theme this, this season is the world of class warfare. So uh, come out, support a great charity, great causes, um, have a nice meal, um, and see a great show at Mary's Attic in Andersonville at uh, 5400 North Clark. <laughs> and to my buddy uh, Eric Parsons, who's the artistic director there, I hope you're feeling better, buddy. Get, uh, get well, because we need you on Tuesday night. Yep. Wednesday, the 27th, Help House Chicago Homeless People, um, the group that we've talked about, and we had Thomas Turner on last week talking about it. Um, they are holding a fundraiser, their first official fundraiser, at the legendary Checkerboard Lounge, 5201 South Harper Court, with karaoke, lively discussion, and DJ John Goodman, who, who we loved in Roseanne. This is uh, not that one. Wait, where is it? Not, not, no, 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 no. <laughs> also performing, and, and he was in the studio last week, uh, a very talented young man. Um, yeah, our special guest, uh, 8TMG. So um, folks come out, support a great cause, um, have have some fun, and uh, and roll up the sleeves, and, and let's talk activism and homelessness in Chicago. Yeah, Make a difference. House, help house Chicago homeless people. That's yeah. it. Crying out loud. That's it. Uh, uh, also, a thanks to uh, to all the folks that heard the show and came down last week uh, from the show to the XL Pipeline protest mm -hmm. in Grant Park. I ran into a number of, of great uh, great listeners. Um, we had some good conversations. A couple a couple good. Uh, Debates, debates. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Um, it, but it, but it was a great day for it. Great sunny day for it. It was nice to see everybody. And I especially want to thank the sisters from St. Joseph's in Brookfield, where I actually went to catechism. <laughs> uh, they were they were a lot of fun. We'll be talking to them. Um, they've got a lot to say about the environment and activism as well. They were just some awesome, awesome Probably ladies. something about our beer drinking, too. But. Yeah. And I, for all the things that I got away with in, in catechism, uh, I got some payback to do here, so I got to yes. be nice to them. <laughs> Penance, baby. We were also in the fight this week with the tenants at 1246 West Pratt, uh, supporting, um, supporting Chicago anti-eviction and communities uh, united against eviction and foreclosure. Um, we are on the side of low-income elderly and disabled tenants that are being forced to live in terrible conditions right mm -hmm. now uh, in an effort to, to force them out of their apartments. Some of them have been there for better than 20 years um, to make room for more affluent tenants. Yeah. There needs to be a better way of doing that, finding affordable housing for people who are disabled, low-income, mm -hmm. um, or elderly, um, rather than forcing them out in this, in this really sort of third-world, Eastern European kind of, um, kind of thuggery. Um, and then our beer of the week this week, which mm. is the most important thing. A little toast here for I got everybody. mine here, yeah. Let's, Good man. I've got, what's it? Duff man, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a little moment. Of our beer, beer of the meditation. week this week is Anchorbach from Anchor Brewing in San Francisco. You guys will note uh, it's a deep chestnut. 
<laughs> it's a deep. It's got a deep chestnut color. Uh, Anchor is known, and Anchor Steam for any of those people is kind of the, the most prevalent. But they make a really great portfolio of beers. We talked about their Christmas brew this year, uh, but uh, this Anchor Bach. Um, Anchor is known for its bold taste. This beer is no different. It's really an exceptional full-bodied blend. Um, and we are coming to the end of Bach History Month. Uh, I'm sorry. God, where's I'm my so Where's my thing? Sorry. I just... <laughs> yeah, good, man. Good man. I, that was it. I was waiting for the Norman face. <laughs> <laughs> but coming up in March, um, we're going to help folks make some good decisions on Irish beer for St. Mm, Patrick's Day okay. so you can impress your friends. Excellent. Um, the uh, And Revolution and Beer coming to uh, a television near you? This is coming. This is coming. Stay tuned for details. Yep. Check out MikeSandersMedia.com and That's it. you'll get your updates. Just I'm not going to give too many TV. details away. But uh, but the first one's going to be good. Are you, are now, you, often, uh, fans of Cheers out there. <laughs> for all those, I'm not watching that. <laughs> for all those at-home activists, uh, stop the frack attack on Illinois water. Your weekly call to action with a simple cut and paste uh, addresses and phone numbers direct to government uh, Governor Quinn and ask him to support a moratorium on fracking in Illinois. Uh, environmental groups are criticizing Governor Quinn's endorsement uh, on the fracking regu- regulatory bill introduced into the legislature on Thursday. Um, if only I had someone like Dr. Laura Chamberlain um, who had all the links. Doctor? Ah. Oh, hi, our <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Smooth. Excellent. Magic of I, need more, I need more fingers, baby. <laughs> exactly. So, yes, we are working for a moratorium on fracking and an investigative task force. Uh, we're following the New York path here in Illinois. Um, and I know everybody knows that fracking is really dangerous. That's it. And, yes, it is. It's really dangerous. It even causes earthquakes. So we're really going to want to try to be real, real careful about it here exactly. in Illinois. Exactly. Give us that website and that contact on how people can get uh, – Right. Going here. So uh, Chicago Land Fractivists can come tonight to a veggie potluck and a meetup at 5 p.m. at 1000 North Milwaukee. Yes. It's multi culti on the fourth floor. That's 5 p.m. tonight. And then uh, go to Facebook and uh, uh, search for Stop the Frack Attack on Illinois with Illinois spelled out, and you'll get all of our information. You are okay. awesome as always. Dr. Laura Chamberlain, thank you, and I'll talk to you soon. You got it. Thank you very well, much. Hon. Um, Yesterday, Brian and I were on the south side um, with a great, uh, a great group, um, Fly, uh, Fearless Leading uh, of the Youth. Um, we fearless, met a wonder. Go fearless ahead, Leadership by the Youth. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> we met. My, my mouth goes faster than my mind. We'll let Veronica talk about it. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Actually, Veronica we have Veronica Morris, uh, Morris Moore on the, uh, on the line here with us. Um, she, she led or was part of the group leading uh, a protest against um, the, the lack of trauma care on the south side. Um, and the new $700 million medical facility um, at the University of Chicago that will turn away people uh, – for trauma care if they're above the age of 16. Um, that cuts out a lot of youth. <laughs> that means that means these kids, um, if, if, they're, if, they're, if they're gravely injured, have to travel all the way across the city, 95th, Stroger, uh, the west side, um, Northwestern, which those minutes, if you've driven across the city, even in an ambulance that can blow red lights, um, those minutes are critical. Um, Veronica? Yes. Good morning. Good morning. Good thanks morning, for Ron. thanks for getting up so early. I know you had a uh, a very busy day yesterday and a uh, and a very busy night. Tell us a little bit about uh, Fly, uh, and then tell us a little bit about your efforts with uh, with trauma care on the South Side. Fearless Leading by the Youth is a youth led organization in the Willan area. It is um, an organization of youth activists that are basically advocating for issues that they care about that affect their community directly. Mm-hmm. And FLY is also a program that's about promoting the leadership development of our youth. Yeah, so it's absolutely not just about this issue, but this is one of the issues that FLY is taking on. Yeah. Um, so we do a lot of protesting and advocating and education around the issues that we choose to pick up and campaign about. Um, And it's been established since 2007. And 
think that's about the basis. <laughs> no, that's that's great. Um, you're you're doing fine, and and I apologize. We woke you up very early today. Um, you guys, um, <laughs> you guys are working hard in the cold. Yesterday. You were working hard in the cold yesterday. Really hard, uh, yeah. Basically, to bring people up to speed, um, we marched from uh, from Cottage Grove and 60th uh, to the medical center, mm -hmm. uh, where we held a rally and a protest. Uh, Ver Veronica was um, was incredibly eloquent. Um, and you had some special guests there. Do you want to do you want to tell tell the folks about those uh, those guests that you had there? Um. So we had a few speakers there. Yeah. I, I wouldn't call them special guests. I mean, everybody that comes out to our protests is our special. Mm -hmm. Um. But we had some speakers there. A student from the University of Chicago, mm -hmm. um, who's been assisting with organizing and speaking out. To the student body about this campaign. Yeah, um, there were there were there were three people in in particular that uh, that I wanted to call folks' attention to that that had a significant stake in this issue. Mm -hmm. um, the, the the three mothers. Yeah, so I was about to get to that. Cool. So um, so the other figures that we had were three mothers who are part of this organization called POMC, which is Parents of Murdered Children, and these three women all. Um, lost a child or a yeah. loved one um, who was under the age of 25 yeah. on the south side and they were all taken to very far neighborhoods to receive trauma care. Yeah. So, so this issue is really significant, um, and it's it's not theoretical. This is this is really um, this is really blood, sweat, and tears here. Um, some some of that blood, um, some of it really paid for in in blood here and, and tears from from these folks. Say, so, Veronica, um, where do people want to get more information? Uh, where can they get more information? If people want to get more information, they can go on Facebook and look up here to put in by the youth and mm -hmm. like our fan page. Yeah. Um, they can also email us at slideleadingbythyouth at gmail.com. Awesome. Fantastic. Uh -huh. we'll, we'll post all gonna, that up. Yeah, I'm going to put that on our Facebook page, and then we'll put it on the website as well. Yeah. So. Exactly. Right. Veronica, um, I, I, I need another hour and a half to talk to you, but um, but you were brilliant this morning. Thank you for, for joining us this morning. Yesterday. Yes, and great. and folks can also find out about this not only on our on, on our Revolution and Beer page, but at MikeSandersMedia.com mm -hmm. as well. Veronica Morris Moore from Fly, thank you so much, hon. Thank you. Have a great day. All right. Well, um, thank you guys for always being out there in the streets and, and really doing the the on the ground type of activism. We need more people we're, doing stuff like we're that. doing it, buddy. But we're. More than anything, we're, we're supporting ones. we're supporting those folks that are actually doing the work. So, folks, get active, make a difference, yeah. and by all means, do it with a decent beer in your hands. Get out and back these people up. <laughs> Have a good beer. And how. There you go. When we come back, we're going to do some uh, entertainment with Miss Lady B. Uh, again, Our Town, brought to you by Finally. Hora USA. Check it out, H-O-R-A-U-S-A dot com. You're listening to Our Town. We'll be right back.